What's that then? So we're no football being played anytime soon. We don't know how they got it, but it's here. And it needs to be contained. So I'm here to try and sell my team, Barnet Football Club. Now, why Barnet? Why should you pick Barnet? Why do I support Barnet? Something I ask myself on a daily basis. Because I don't even know half the time. Growing up in London. You sound like you're from London. With endless amounts of teams on your doorstep. It's kind of like a kid in a sweet shop. You're sport for choice. Born and bred in North London, it's really only two teams, Arsenal or Spurs. But I decided to pick the underdog, the one that no one sees coming, the one that no one really cares about. Who the hell cares? It's easy supporting a big club. Anyone can do it. Following a successful team that always wins. You're just a number to them. It must be so hard moaning about your team only spending 100 million in that season. Please, sir, I want some more. We have a street part if we spend 100 quid on a player. We don't have the luxury of Sky or BT pumping endless amounts of money into us. But we hold the record for most non-league title wins. A massive three. All right, we're joint record holders with Macclesfield, but still silverware is silverware. It's more than what Stevenage have won in recent years. There is never a dull moment supporting Barnet. Just watch some of my vlogs. You'll see. <laughs> On five different occasions, we've taken it down to the wire to try and survive on the last day of the season. We beat the odds and stayed up three times out of five. The other two, well, you can work it out. We've had the same manager five times as well. Martin Allen is a living legend. The man has won us the league and has helped us survive on two separate occasions. We've also been known to have the best chairman in the land. And we also have a guy called Steve Percy, who ain't missed a Barnet game home or away for over 50 the years. The man didn't even go to his own brother's wedding because it clashed with a Barnet game. This man was the DT before AFTV even existed, but didn't do his rants for views. I'm getting paid a lot of fucking money. <laughs> this man is still rocking a mullet in 2020. I mean, I thought I had confidence, but that takes balls to do that. He doesn't conform to the status quo. He just dresses like them. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I put it to you. Why wouldn't you support Barnet Football Club? Thank you.